okay, this video is a caffeine substitute. And what this comes out of is, you know, there's three times where I'll, I'll sometimes drink this beet juice here. I'll guzzle down 32 ounces, chase it with 10 to 16 ounces of water. Um, and what I like doing it for is if, number one, before a big workout, if I'm trying to do a personal best, high rep squats or something. Number two, if I'm tired, let's say I'm tired, I'm at work, or I'm trying to do some difficult academic project, and I want more energy, I'll do this. It, it gives me a boost in energy for about six hours, four to six hours. I usually get it for about six hours. Um, I do it before I give long talks. It just energizes me, the talks. I find the words quicker when I'm speaking. So I know it makes me smarter. Um, and the benefit it has over caffeine is caffeine will cause some insomnia. It's a stimulant. And caffeine has a longer half-life. Caffeine has a half-life of like eight hours. So it can still be on board what you drink in the morning into the evening. And I haven't had caffeine in many years. I don't want to ever have it again. It's a bit of a mild neurotoxin because it increases the metabolic rate of your brain while simultaneously causing vasoconstriction to decrease blood flow to your frontal lobes and your hippocampus. So I don't like caffeine. Um, and so this is what I'll do if I just got a ton of work. Let's say I'm, I'm at work and I'm a little tired. I didn't sleep enough the night before. I got a big stack of billing codes I have to generate before I can go home. I'll sometimes guzzle this down, crank, 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 crank out all my work. And um, okay, so anyways, why does it help? It hydrates you, that makes you stronger. Um, it elevates your blood glucose level, that out gives you more energy. And the nitrates are the precursors. Nitrates are NO3, back of your tongue, the bacteria convert them to nitrites, NO2. Go to the stomach, gastric acid converts them to uh, NO, nitric oxide, goes into your blood, systemic vasodilatation, like the same good feeling you get when you walk out into the sun. Because you got subcutaneous precursors, nitrates that, um, facilitate systemic increased vasodilation through increased nitric oxide systemically. Okay, so anyways, but you don't get the insomnia effect. That's a big benefit. There's a guy named Kip Chogi, world record marathon holder from Kenya, and he guzzles down a whole bunch of iced tea and then puts a whole bunch of well puts a whole bunch of sugar in his iced tea. He ran a marathon in less than two hours. Incredible. But I wouldn't want to do that because all that sugar can rot your teeth. Then you got to brush your teeth and floss, which is a pain in the butt. Uh, so I wouldn't want to bother with that, but I'm just letting you know that's what some people do for, you know, pre-workout meals for a big long run. Okay, I'm going to show you now <clears throat> just one paper on the subject. Here's a paper saying, you know, if you drink this stuff, <clears throat> you'll have improved exercise tolerance. And I think if you look at the hemoglobin oxygen dissociation curve, the top part of it's relatively flat for a decent distance such that if you're just sitting at rest and not doing anything that challenges you at all, then you're not going to notice much of a difference. But if you have, let's say you had a baseline COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, emphysema, bronchitis, then you might really benefit from that if you're on HOMO2 or something. Um, let's say, so anyways, there's situations I think where medically can help. And you increase tissue oxygenation just by eating a low-fat diet, low-sodium diet, no oils. Um, but just look at the line here. It says, uh, this beetroot stuff in high in inorganic dietary nitrates consistently improves exercise performance in athletes and individuals with cardiopulmonary disease. Okay, and then they showed in the study, they compared it to a few other things, and the beet juice had the best improvement effect. And if you go on the internet, you'll see other lectures to this effect, you know. Um, and Dr. Greger, for example, has good lectures to this effect about this. And it's, other people have shown it, and I know because I've done this hundreds and hundreds of times before I give long talks, before I do high repetition squats, when I have a ton of work to do and I need more energy, I do it and it works. And just remember, you got to give it about two hours or an hour and a half to two hours before it kicks up, and it only lasts for about six hours. Uh, so anyways, hope that was helpful.